Welcome back guys. Today I'm going to be changing the oil on the Mustang for the first time. So I got me my Motorcraft oil. I'm about to head out to uh, O'Reilly's to get an oil filter. If I can't find a Motorcraft one, I'm just going to hop over to Ford dealership and uh, get a, a filter. Also, um, I'm waiting on UPS to get here so I can, I ordered um, you guys will see it once it gets here, but I'm about to head out to the to the parts store, taking the skyline. FL 500S, this is it for you guys looking for part number for the oil filter. So I need a um, bulb, I'm gonna pull it out. Alright guys, for those that need turn signals for the skyline, here's the, the number. This is the only thing I can find in there that matches this other one. So let's see. Alright guys, uh, fitment's a little weird. I'm gonna pull it out and flip it the other side so that it goes in. But this is the only way it went in. It doesn't make contact very well, but it works. The uh, bulb changed up. So about to get home. Hopefully a UPS got there with my package. And let's do this oil change. Made it home, no package, so I'm gonna move the Mustang, park it inside, lift it, get it ready. So we're about to start the oil change, so let the fun begin. Let's do it! Alright, so... As you guys can see, the drain plug is right there. That one right there. So let's put this here. And then I have to remove this cover, I think, to get to the oil filter. Well, let's double check. So for the oil filter, it's this little nut right here, or bolt, the flat. Let's see, let me back up so you guys can see it, where it's at. It's on the driver's side, a little flap right there. All right, let's get to it. So 
So we're gonna use a 15. I'm not sure if you guys can see it, but uh, perfect. Make sure. All right, guys. Make sure the drain plug is removed from the oil pan. I'm really, really nervous about this oil change because of that notorious coyote tick. All right, so while that drains, let's remove this little flap for the for the oil filter. That's a size seven. All right guys, so there's a filter. The oil still draining over there, so I'm gonna let it continue draining. But there's a the filter. Still draining. All right, so let's undo this. While we wait for the oil, we're gonna I'm gonna rinse this off and clean it off. So it's time to uh, put the bolt back into the oil pan. Let's get to the oil filter. Let's see. It's pretty messy getting this filter out. Let's see. Yeah, pretty, pretty messy. So we're just gonna let it drain for a little bit. Alright guys, so let's open up one of these. Alright guys, this is what came from factory and that's the replacement. Let's add a little bit of oil on this filter. About halfway. Just a little bit on the gasket. All the filters in. Let me see if I can show it to you. Yeah. It's right there. And so just gonna wipe it off, make sure it's hand tight. And then I'm gonna spray some awesome spray to uh, clean all this oil off. All 
handy dandy awesome spray. Moment of truth. I start pouring some oil. And then uh, I'm gonna go down there and check, make sure it's not leaking. And I'm gonna put two quarts, check, see if it's leaking down there, and then continue. So that's the second bottle. I'm gonna check down, make sure it's not leaking. Let's put the rest. Put in seven quarts. It's time to check the oil. Let's see where we at at seven quarts. All right, guys. So we're just right above the first simple for hole so what I'm gonna do now is use all these cans that are upside down and finish draining them into the engine hey guys so I added the last cord I added eight quarts it's right on the on the second um, hole or nipple or whatever you guys want to call it anyway so as I'm cleaning up I I grabbed my oil filter my old one and then I put it towards the sunlight and I can see a whole bunch of uh, metal shavings and glitter in there um, so yeah I'm pretty upset right now I I have no words I don't know what to say but I guess it's time to move on from this car You know, ever since I bought this car, I've had problems. I have everything documented. And Ford didn't do anything about it. Like, you guys can see here. Look at that gap on my door. I told them my doors are crooked. Both doors are crooked. My bumper was crooked. My hood was crooked. My trunk was crooked. They were all on the line. I, I was just too excited to even look at the small details like the door trim and stuff so I'm, I'm pretty upset right now I'm just gonna finish cleaning up and uh, I'm gonna start it up and check the fluids again and vent a little I guess <laughs> so I'm about to start the car and fingers crossed hopefully everything's good hopefully All right guys, so far, it's pretty good. Uh, I'm gonna cut open the oil filter and inspect it. All right, guys, so the package I've been waiting for got here, so let's open it up.
Bam! I got me a catch can, finally. All right guys, so I ordered this catch can through American Muscle. All right guys, so removed it. I'm gonna replace it. Just make sure there's nothing in here. Yeah, good to go. Alright guys, so there you have it. I'm about to go take this oil to go drop it off at O'Reilly's. And um, drive it around for a little bit, make sure everything's straight. Come back and check the fluids again. And uh, that will be it for today. Hey guys. Um, it's unfortunate that uh, the oil filter had uh, shavings, so I'm going to take it apart, cut it open and inspect the oil, and uh, I'm going to drive maybe about another 200 miles, and uh, rechange the oil again, and see how it is, and if I find more shavings on the oil filter, I, yeah, so we're going to have to see from there. I am a bit uh, disappointed, but it is what it is, you know. Um, yeah, guys, well, thank you for watching. If you like today's content, make sure you subscribe. And um, that's it for today. I will see you next video. Thank you again for watching. See you next time. Oh, one more thing. What do you guys think I should do? Should I take it? Uh, put it back to stock, go trade it in for something else. I've been thinking maybe of a, the R35. I'm not too sure yet. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. See you next time.